is Tomer Shane, and today I'm about to present OCC Realizer, which is a mechanical transformation that converts sequential search trees into concurrent ones. It is a joint work with Adam Morrison. So why such transformations are needed? Well, it is clear that search trees are in use in many systems. They can be found in databases as indexes. They can be found in operating systems as key parts of the virtual memory subsystem. They can be found in storage engines and so forth. This extensive use makes it clear that we would like these, uh, these search trees to be as efficient as possible. My, nowadays, in modern multi-core platforms, a key property that affects the performance of a tree is its scalability. Furthermore, the most scalable trees today are based on optimistic concurrency control. In a tree that supports opti uh, optimistic concurrency control, the traversals are read-only, and they do not perform any synchronization at all, such as uh, acquiring locks or executing uh, read, modify, write uh, atomic instructions. The fact that traversals don't perform synchronization enables multiple traversals to execute in parallel, as you can see in the animation. Unfortunately, systems often can't use an off-the-shelf concurrent trees as the black box because they have specific requirements or need tight integration with other components of the system. What is left is to take the existing sequential trees in the systems that we would like to redesign and to try to manually add synchronization to them. However, this process is difficult. It is difficult to design and it is difficult to prove to be correct. Therefore, we are interested in automated ways for transforming sequential search trees into scalable concurrent ones uh, with optimistic concurrency control. Over the years, two classes of automatic methods were designed in order to create concurrent code from sequential automatically. These are uh, uh, universal construction systems and transactional memory. In a nutshell, universal construction systems take the sequential input code as black box and convert it into a concurrent variation without doing any instrumentation. In most cases, universal construction systems output concurrent code that work on a copy of the data structure or on a copy of part of it. At the end of an operation, the concurrent code tries to commit the changes by making the local copy become global. However, universal construction systems suffer from a significant drawback. They cause serialization of operations. In most scalable universal construction systems, only the non-read-only operations are serialized. However, even in these systems, when executing combinations of lookups and updates, there is significant degradation in scalability. Below, you can see a graph that shows the scalability of a tree that was converted using a universal construction system. The graph shows the throughputs of 97% uh, lookups and 3% insertions over increasing numbers of working cores. You can see that as a result of the drawback I've just mentioned, even 3% of insertions degrade the scalability dramatically. Another method is transactional memory. In transactional memory, we take a sequential code in a clear box manner and inject instrumentation to it to output a concurrent code. Transactional memory systems convert the code by injecting calls to transactional memory functions in every place the original code executes reads to or uh, reads from or writes to in the memory. Unlike universal constructions, transactional memory uses an optimistic like protocol that doesn't serialize all writing operations. However, Transactional memory systems don't fulfill their potential because they block or restart whenever they cross a node that was modified by some other concurrent operation. Here you can see a graph that shows the scalability of a tree that uh, was converted using a transactional memory system. As, you, uh, as in the universal construction example, the graph shows the throughputs of 97% lookups and 3% insertions over increasing number of working cores. You can see that even though transactional memory is supposed to be optimistic, it blocks and, re it's blocks and restarts when mixing insertions uh, to the test degrade the scalability dramatically. To solve these problems, in our work, we designed OCC Realizer, which is a transformation that utilizes optimistic concurrency control to trees. 
OCC Realizer consists of a set of mechanical source-to-source -source transformation and a synchronization library that uses a novel form, form of optimistic concurrency control. The transformations inject into the input sequential tree code calls to the synchronization library, and by these injections, it produces a scalable concurrent tree with optimistic concurrency control. Let's better understand what OCC Realizer does. First, in OCC Realizer, we make sure that in the output trees, all traversal steps of any operation remain unsynchronized. This way, we guarantee that the optimistic concurrency control property is satisfied. The only steps to which synchronization is injected are the updating steps of the tree operations. These injected synchronization calls implement a protocol called localized copy on write which is a protocol we designed that performs all the tree modifications and operation and makes in one atomic step. While unsynchronized traversals are highly scalable, they have a problem, which is that it's not clear such traversals are correct. As you can see in the animation, because of the lack of synchronization, a traversal that encounters concurrent modifications of the tree might end up in the wrong location. To solve this problem, OCC Realizer's localized copy on write protocol is designed to satisfy an existing pro uh, proof of traversal correctness. Localized copy on write is designed so that the resulting concurrent trees satisfy a condition that is called for past, which was recently proved to imply the correctness of unsynchronized traversals. Overall, the combination of concurrent and synchronized traversals and the atomicity localized copy on write provides yield concurrent trees that are both highly scalable due to optimistic concurrency control that doesn't block or try and correct. Of course, OCC Realizer's advantages don't come for free. Compared to general automatic transformations like universal constructions and transactional memory, OCC Realizer is specialized to search trees. Therefore, it cannot be used in order to convert other data structures. Moreover, in order to satisfy the, correct the correctness proof, the input tree code has to satisfy certain prerequisites, and it is the user's uh, responsibility to manually verify that these prerequisites are met. So in a nutshell, OCC Realizer is a mechanical transformation, but it is specialized and not general. I should note that in our experience, the tree prerequisites are very natural and are met uh, uh, by typical algorithms such like B-trees, red-black trees, and the tries. It's just you can construct synthetic counterexamples algorithms that don't meet the prerequisites, so the prerequisites are formally needed. In subsequent slides, I'll elaborate on what localized copy on write is and on how OCC Realizer augments the code in order to integrate localized copy on write into the original algorithm. First, I will get into the details of OCC Realizer's localized copy on write. Uh, uh, is variation of, co well, actually, localized copy on write is a scalable variation of copy on write. So in order to explain it, I will first demonstrate how copy and write works on trees. Let's observe the following example. Let's say we would like to insert the key 12 into a tree that uses copy and write. First, the algorithm traverses over the tree and finds the node to which it would like to reinsert the new key. In order to make such an insertion, according to the copy and write protocol, the tree algorithm should first copy the node, then to update the copy, and then to replace the copied node with its copy. However, in order to do, uh, to do so, we should update the node with the key 10. So according to copy on write, this node should be copied too, and its copy should be the one to be updated. Finally, because 10 is the root of the tree, we compare and swap the content of the root member, and if it hasn't changed during the execution of the operation, the tree algorithm succeeds in making uh, its changes visible. Overall, every update operation creates a copy of the entire path of the update nodes uh, and must write to the, uh, to the tree's root. In copy on write, the traversals are optimistic because while traversals never block, they always represent valid states in which the tree has been during its history. However, 
There is a significant bottleneck in the commit logic of updating operations that copy on write protocol requires. The contention over the root of the tree may result in multiple restarts of updating operations. Therefore, we designed localized copy on write, which is a localized variation of the logic we have just shown. Let's understand it by an example. Let's say an updating operation was called over a tree that implements, implements localized copy on write. This operation needs to update nodes A, B, and C according to the original sequential implementation of the tree. The first thing the operation does is to copy these nodes and all the nodes uh, in the path between them and their lowest common ancestor, which are the red nodes. The operation also locks these nodes and the parent of the root of this subtree, which is the orange node. The process of copying and locking is done by tracking the tree's accesses to memory and by deciding which of these accesses should cause a copying logic. Then the operation updates copied nodes of A, B, and C, and then it commits these changes by replacing only the copied lowest common ancestor with its copy. Just like copy on write, this is done atomically, but the contention is spread all over the tree. Finally, the operation reclaims all the memory of the nodes that have been, just been detached from the tree, not before making sure that all other operations that traverses over them finish. Now, I will describe the sequential, uh, how the sequential code is transformed into, con into concurrent code that implements the localized copy and write protocol. This transformation is actually a combination of two families of source to source code transformations. The first one is called the micro transformation. It replaces all the memory accesses of nodes with functions that are imported from the OCC OLIZER synchronization library. This way, the OCC OLIZER transformed algorithm manages all the copying and the locking logic of the nodes that have been accessed. Another family of transformations is the macro transformations that injects calls to the synchronization library before and after the execution of the whole operation. This way, the OCC OLIZER's transformed algorithm tracks when an operation starts and ends and performs the localized copy and write logic accordingly. All these transformations are mechanical and can be performed automatically. However, in this paper, we have focused on the synchronization library and performed the transformations manually following the mechanical recipe. We are currently working on performing these transformations fully automatically in software. Finally, I'll show you some results. We have tested OCC OLIZER outputs over a 28 core platform, and we have executed two families of tests in two benchmark systems. The first is the set bench benchmark system, to which we integrated trees that we compared. The second was testing the STO in memory database with an index based on a B tree created by OCC OLIZER and compared the performance to, the, uh, to, uh, to that of STO's default index, which is based on mastery algorithm, which is a custom designed, highly scalable tree. Due to time constraints, I'll focus on the results of the set bench benchmark tests over mechanically and handcrafted B trees. The set bench benchmark system tests trees by calling user specified distribution of lookups and updating operations and by collecting the throughputs of these tests. We tested trees of initial size of 32 million nodes, and our key universe was built of 64 million 8-byte keys. In those tests, we compared OCC OLIZER converted STX B plus tree with other mechanical transformations of the same tree, such like copy on write, GCC's transactional memory, and CX universal construction system. In addition, we compared OCC OLIZER with a handcrafted concurrent B-tree. We used Brown's A B-tree because there is no concurrent version of STX B plus tree. We can see that when executing 100% lookups, all the trees that we've tested, apart from the, the tree that uses global locks, show some good scalability. This result stems from the fact that in all tested trees, with only read-only operations, no locks or blocking mechanisms are used. However, 
when we mix some insertions into the tests, we can see that, apart from OCC Realizer and Copy and Write, all mechanically transformed trees show bad scalability. In addition, it is clear that OCC Realizer shows better scalability than of Copy and Write. Furthermore, when we increase the number of insertions, we can see that the only mechanical transformation that, sh that shows good scalability is the OCC Realizer. We can see that even though OCC Realizer is worse than handcrafted tree in about 25 to 30%, it is over 13 times better than all other mechanical transformations when running with 28 working threads. In conclusion, the OCC Realizer is a mechanical transformation that applies optimistic concurrency control to sequential search trees, and therefore it outputs a highly scalable concurrent search trees, which even though they are 25 to 30% slower than handcrafted competitors, they show much better results than any other mechanical transformation. Thank you.